What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out 10 more vicious WWE receipts caught on camera by Wrestling Royale. If you haven't subscribed to his channel, go ahead, give him a subscription. I'm already subscribed to him. I'm gonna link down uh, his original video down below subscribe to this channel i've checked out a few of his videos on, on here before and uh he makes some pretty cool uh content so go show him some love hey when it comes to uh wrestling we've we've seen <laughs> wrestlers give out receipts to uh, individuals you know and a lot of times it's just part of the business man sometimes you may get a little bit too excited as a, a up-and-coming wrestler or just a situation where someone gets a little bit too excited and they you know give someone a stiff shot or whatnot the wrestler usually sometimes either gives them the receipt right then and there in the match or in the segment or they wait at a later time to give them the receipt it's just part of the business it's not to intentionally hurt someone but it's just more of a one of those type of things where it's like hey hey you you got me real good i'm gonna get you back you know and it's just you know it's it's nothing to take too personally you know what i'm saying but there i'm sure there are some instances where wrestlers are like hey now nah, you you hit me a little bit too hard hey you want to calm it down i took that personal so we're gonna check out some of these instances appreciate all the love and support you guys shown on the channel ah, get into it they're a concept unique to the pro wrestling jesus and no other profession is it except right hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on we gotta see that but get ah, receipts see that technically wasn't a receipt that was just more or less them booking some extreme angle where Brock Lesnar goes completely rogue and then just legitimately bust him open with his elbow. <laughs> that, that, I, I think that was just an angle, more or less. I don't think that was more so a receipt or whatnot. So I could be wrong there, but from what I know, that was just more of an angle that they kind of kept it between a few people. Hell, there's people in the back that didn't know. I think Jericho got mad and wanted to fight Brock because he thought he went into business for himself when he legitimately busted open Randy Orton hard way and he was bleeding all over the place. But that was planned, so. They're a concept unique to the pro wrestling industry. In no other profession is it God except damn. Like the attack someone Jesus. just their <laughs> But in wrestling, punching someone if they mess up isn't just acceptable. It's very much encouraged. Nine yeah. times out of ten, stiff shots are accidental. But some wrestlers have a track record of being unsafe or unprofessional in the ring. And in this video, we'll be looking at times wrestlers have sent messages to their opponents with their fists. Here are more famous wrestling receipts, starting with... Chris Jericho tells Tommy he's dreaming. Ooh! Oh my God! In the 2003 Royal Rumble, Tommy Damn. Dreamer showed up with a garbage can full of hardcore goodies. One of the weapons was a kendo stick, which Dreamer used to attack various superstars. Chris Jericho accidentally took a kendo shot right to the face and oh. busted him open. Jericho looked like he had a third I think I remember eye. this. Furious about this, oh. Jericho gave a prone Dreamer one of the hardest kendo shots in the history of wrestling Jeez. before tossing him out of the ring. It Diesel happens. Gives Virgil some hellbows. And not the hellbow. Oh! Oh! During the 1994 Royal Rumble match, Virgil entered and was meant to get a little bit of offense on Diesel before being eliminated. He hit the real life Kevin Nash with some stiff shot to the face, and Nash snapped and gave Virgil some of the stiff. Telling you, man, sometimes you get a little bit too excited and you hit somebody for real. They'd be like, all right, bet. Them elbows? Oh, he felt that. The elbows, as my my man call them, he felt those. Just elbows you'll ever Bow! see. Seriously, these things look like they're straight Jeez. out of the UFC knockout. Diesel then grabs Virgil and tosses him get forcefully your, over get the your top ass rope. Out the ring. Arn Anderson smashes Kevin Nash. Oh yeah. Goodness, Jesus, we we've, we've seen uh seen a clip of this jesus i know i know it's not wwe but it's too good to ignore on an episode of nitro in Facts. 1997 nash dressed up as arn anderson to mock him but it hit a little close to home with nash making fun of arn's real life drinking problems what's worse anderson was forced to retire from wrestling and never could get his revenge in storyline or in real life 
Well, that is until January 2000 when Nash was challenging Bret Hart for the WCW world title. Hart was scheduled to do a run-in and hit Nash with a steel pipe, and oh boy, did he ever. Just listen to this thud. I'm sorry, bro. Like I said at the beginning of the video, sometimes people take it personally. And that was a personal shot. <laughs> With that lead pipe. Jeez, bro. Oh, my God. Two Antonios and one ain't so great. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Technically, this also isn't the WWE, but considering Antonio Inoki is in the WWE Hall of Fame mm -hmm. and is one of the best receipts ever caught on camera, we're going to use it. In 1977, Inoki faced off against the great Antonio, who decided he was going to no-sell Inoki's offense. This, of course, angered Inoki, but oh. it wasn't until the not-so-great Antonio unleashed some clubbing blows to the back of oh, my. snapped. Oh. And there, one of the most vicious beatings in pro wrestling history oh. took place. Needless to say, no one messed with Whoa. Antonio Inoki after this. Yo, he legit stomping him out, bro. They, man, he's stomping a mud hole. My man's not moving. Like, he was legit. After those stick, uh, uh, not stick, those stiff shots back to the head and neck region, he's like, all right, I'm done with this shit. You don't want to sell for me. You don't want to do nothing. I, but you want to hit me with real shots? I'm about to stomp you out. And he stomped him out. Jeez. The Undertaker crushes HBK. Michaels has had enough. Michaels has had enough. In 1997, The Undertaker had his best-to-date run with the world title oh, yeah, he ended was going after in. HBK cracked him with a chair in a match against Bret Hart. Losing Jeez. the title was storyline, but HBK accidentally catching Taker with the edge of the chair oh. rather than the soft middle part was not. He knew a receipt was due to him and voluntarily took <laughs> the The Undertaker, he's notorious. We, we've uh, seen a video of uh, him giving a receipt uh, to Randy Orton. Like at a later time or whatnot. So Undertaker is notorious. Like you mess up, you hit me somewhere you weren't supposed to. Just know at a later time, you gonna catch your receipt. And HBK knew. He's like, "Fuck, um, this is about to suck." <laughs> so he just, "All right, man, let's get this over with, bro." <laughs> the chair, rather than the soft middle part, was not. Oh he my god! Due to him, and voluntarily took a. Brutal chair shot from The Undertaker in their Hell in a Cell match later that year. Sheesh. The Undertaker again. On an episode of Raw leading up to WrestleMania 32, Shane McMahon and The Undertaker had a little brawl. During it, Shane hit The Undertaker with a monitor a little mm -hmm. too hard and busted open the dead. I remember Shane that. Shane apologized backstage with The Undertaker apparently telling him that his receipt was incoming. Fast forward <laughs> to the Hell in a Cell match. In Shane's words, The Undertaker bare pawed him with a monitor while they were on the oh, side. Yeah, I the remember that. Once again, The Undertaker, he's all about you give me a receipt. That's fine. It's cool. You can apologize. Just know your receipt is coming. And it seems like he loves to give out receipts in hell in the cells. <laughs> he rocks a jobber. Do much better. Haku. Missed Keish and hit the Savat kick on Russ. Rikishi has always come across as a pretty cool guy in real life. Mm -hmm. What may shock you is to find out that he was competing in WWE's developmental territory, HWA, back in 2001, and he completely lost it on jobber Russ McCullough. Russ held Rikishi as Haku came in to deliver a kick to Rikishi. The big man was supposed to move one oh. way, but accidentally moved another and completely completely ate the kick from Haku. Rikishi blamed Russ for this and unleashed a barrage of chair shots that sent oh, Apollo running Jesus. to the back. He was never heard from again. Jesus! Ahmed Johnson drives his head through Farouk. Oh my God! When Farouk debuted, he ran in and kicked Ahmed Johnson so hard he injured his kidney and forced Ooh. Ahmed onto the shelf for a month. Ahmed said that he felt like the kick was a shotgun blast and made a mental note to get his revenge at a later date. Oh, Several boy. months later, Ahmed delivered a spine buster to Farouk that doesn't look so bad to the untrained eye, but Ahmed said that he purposefully drove his head into Farouk's ribs and broke a few of them. Oh, whoa, Shawn damn. Shawn Michaels curb stomps Vader for real. Oh my God. 
Seth Rollins has a really cool finisher called the Curb Stomp. It's so cool that when WWE tried to change it for the pedigree for a few years, fans mm -hmm. revolted until it was brought back. But where did he learn? Yeah, the Curb Stomp is it's a it's a good finishing move because it looks believable. You you stomp somebody's head into the ground. They shouldn't get up. <laughs> this move from it could have been as a young fan watching SummerSlam 1996, where Vader challenged Shawn Michaels for the world title. At yeah. one point, HBK jumped off. And Vader is a tough guy. From the clips I've seen and people talking about him, Vader was he was a tough guy. He 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 was he will he'll give you some stiff shots back if you have to. He he can go with the best of them top rope and vader was supposed to move vader forgot to move and sean lost his mind damn he stomped vader on the head for real before berating vader and interrupting the entire match for his fit nia Jax and charlotte flair get after it oh flair boy oh my god oh my god Nia's gonna mow the queen. on an episode of raw and twitter is known for giving the uh, real stiff shots we saw what happened with becky lynch nose that one year so we know how that goes. <laughs> 21, Charlotte Flair and Nia Jax were facing off in a one-on-one -on -one match. There was a miscommunication and previously building bad blood boiled over as Charlotte started hitting Ooh. Jax for real. A lot of it took place during the commercial break, but a lot was still caught on camera. Nia Jax eventually had enough and decided Jesus. to smack Charlotte with a decent one-two combination. The two eventually got back on track and finished the match, but this was as close to a real fight on Raw we've seen Facts. in a long time. Nah, those are real slaps, bro, to the face. Like, whew, don't get on Nia's bad side. Sheesh. Umaga turns Steve-O into a jackass. Oh, oh my God. The Jackass crew were brought into Raw in 2006 to promote their upcoming movie. Umaga was meant to come to the ring and destroy Steve-O and Chris Pontius, but within the scripted world of pro wrestling. Don't get me wrong, all of Umaga's moves look painful. Oh and my painful. god. Steve-O wanted to be the Joker he always is and chose to laugh after receiving Umaga's brutal offense. This angered the smaller uh, closer and he absolutely mauled the Oh uh, my god. He, he, yeah, he didn't sell it. <laughs> but... It's, it's jackass. They're there to get hurt. Legit. They want to get legit hurt. That's that's just them. Matt Hardy makes the biggest mistake of his life. <laughs> that's still one of the coldest chair shots in WWE history. He hit that nigga in the back of his head. Dub would love this clip. I've sent Dub this clip, and he's always smiling when he's seen it. But, bro, I want y'all to know, boy, that boy, that was a nasty chair shot. Oh my God. It's more. Paul Heyman and the Big Show were in the ring trashing Brock Lesnar when Brock appeared on the entrance ramp and started making his way to the ring. Matt Hardy then ran out and cracked Brock with a chair shot, accidentally hitting him in the back of the head with the edge of the chair. Brock was cut oh. wide open, but refused medical attention, refused to put on his wrestling gear, and absolutely mauled the sensei of Mattitude in their one on one yeah. match later on. Oh, yeah. Before Mattitude follower Shannon Moore wasn't safe and ate a hellacious yep. five from the beast. <laughs> Receipts come in all shapes and fits. Jesus. Yep. Yep, we've seen that was uh WrestleMania 31. This was a very good match. <laughs> very good match, man. They their very first match they had against each other was really, really good, man. But nah, bro, he he was beating the shit out of Roman. <laughs> Sometimes someone else gets to come in and do your receipt for you. This was the case in the 2019 Hall of Fame when the legendary Bret Hart was giving his speech. And yeah. The, a deranged fan ran into the ring and tackled the elderly Hart. Not his smartest move as a multitude of security, other superstars, uh, and yeah. UFC fighter Travis Brown all jumped the guy and dragged him out of the ring. Yep. Dash Wilder of the Revival saw his opportunity and delivered a stiff hook to the deranged fan Hold on. To we the gotta floor. see that again <laughs> we gotta see that he, he deserved that <laughs> we gotta see that one more one more game delivered a stiff hook to the deranged fan dropping him to the floor don't mess good don't do that shit mess with the excellence of execution that concludes your list of vicious WWE this is great man which ones did we miss let us this is fantastic once again go ahead and like this video subscribe to him man 
link to the original video will be down below but yeah that last clip if you run into that ring you we don't know they don't know what you got on you whatever the case may be yeah i'm sure they check as security but you can try to sneak something in you tackling brett nah he got exactly what he's earned as soon as you cross that barricade and get into that ring bro you're gonna catch the beats you gonna catch real beats you're gonna find out how real it is and you're gonna get everything you deserve so i'm all for boys getting a couple punches in because nah we don't do that stay behind the barricade enjoy the show from where you at don't get into the ring that was a well-deserved receipt but comment down below let me know some other receipts uh if they weren't listening in this video that you guys just will always remember like you just know you remember where you were when you saw it live when it happened and you was just like damn whoo that was a stiff shot but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on channel road 250k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace